<sighs> Greetings, Grey Maniacs. <laughs> I'm going to go have a look through box number 18. Why is it so bright that you can't see the number? There you go, box 18. I'm going to have a look through box 18 today. I've been sleeping, to be honest. Oh, I've been sleeping. I just suddenly felt very tired and I'm going to sleep. Uh, right, this is a box full of uh, runs that I'm like in the process of collecting, in the process of getting kind of thing, albeit rather slowly. Right, there's a few bits of stuff in here. Let's just pull out a handful. Oh, actually, let's just see what it is first. Let's see what it is first. Uh, this one, I wasn't actually planning on collecting this. This is I got this as an AOK -okay from um, Comic Foo. I think that's his name. Forget now. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Comic Foo. Twenty eight fourteen, named after the sector of uh, you know the fur the furry guy, the furry Fuminati guy. Yeah, that's the mystery man. He sent me as one of the. That's quite a good comic actually. But it's like, I don't want to add another run to my bloody well pull list, you know, to my blinking, tempting to buy list. But uh, who knows, maybe one day I'll see these going cheap somewhere and I'll, I'll pick them up. <laughs> uh, and also he sent me this one. This was quite good, Amiga Man number one. So I have seen a few Amiga Men going cheap for like 50p, whatever. So maybe I'll start trying to get together a run of Amiga Men. It wasn't a bad little story. Uh, right, Green Lantern Lost Army. This is like a, a little mini series, I think. Not too sure how many there was in the series. I think there's only about six or something. But uh, randomly, I managed to get number two from somewhere, and uh, I'm looking to pick up the rest when I see them going cheap, or when I see them at all. To be honest, I've not, 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 not just haven't seen them going cheap. I haven't seen them anywhere. <laughs> but one day, one day. As long as I carry on living, I'll. Uh, I've got one part of one of uh, this US uh, Steve Darnell and uh, Alex Ross. So I'm assuming that's um, what's it called, Uncle Sam, the character Uncle Sam. I'm assuming as if it is comic book related. I'm not too sure now. Yeah, a man named Sam wanders the streets of an anonymous American city. Uh, mm. So that's the part one. I'm not even read it because I'm waiting to get part two. So I can read them both. <laughs> One day I might find that. Uh, somehow along the way I've picked up a couple of these uh, Death of Wolverine comic books. And I, he's not like my favourite character at all. I used to like him, but I really went completely off him with his total over-saturation in Marvel. He couldn't bloody well open a comic book without him squeaking in there like an annoying little ferret. Um, so yeah, I completely went off Wolverine. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd quite like to see him die. So uh, if I find the other three issues of this, <laughs> I can invent, I can finally read them all. Uh, it just got uh, too much, just too much Wolverine. Right, I'm trying to pick up, the, well, I found some of these going cheap, so I bought them, and I, uh, hopefully I'll find the rest of them at some point. Just be a fun read for, uh, just to see what it's all about. This 12-part maxi-series, Can You Solve It Before We Do? Challenge. It was basically a different creative team, I believe, on each book. And basically they never sort of had a, a meeting to say what the story was going to do. You basically, I think they just made it up as they went along. So one creative team would leave it on a cliffhanger. The next creative team would come in and have to continue from where it was left off. So an interesting concept anyway. Uh, so that's, I've only got a few. Number one I've got. Number three. And they're quite cool covers as well. And they're all good, like, creative teams within the... Uh, you know, the DC world. And now, of course, it's got lots of characters that I like in it. Look at that guy. I don't know, I don't know who the fishy bloke is. But Superman, Hulk Girl, um, Jonah Hex, Aquaman, Batman, Adam Strange. Yeah, all good stuff. And they're all names I've heard of, like, of the creators. More goodies on this one. Superman again, Zatanna, uh, Jimmy Olsen, Aquaman again. Is that Detective Chimp, maybe? I'm not too sure. Uh, Martian Manhunter. So, 
hoping to get this full run completed one day so I can give them a read. Doctor Fate, US agent Shazam, Captain uh, sorry yeah Captain Comet and um, Adam Strange. All good folks, all good exciting comic book people, whose antics and adventures I have enjoyed in the past. So. Um, Uh, Batman, Adam Strange, not too sure who this is. It's not Crimson Knight. Crimson, no, Crimson Knight was not a character. Crimson Knight was the name of a character my mate used to play in a role playing game that we did. Uh, Villains and Vigilantes, the Crimson Knight was his character. Um, it's not the Shining Knight either, it's some bloke with a sword and some old fella. Don't know who he is. Hmm. I could hazard a guess, but I shan't. Because that would be all it was, I guess. Okay, some interesting looking stuff on this one. Plastic Man. Wheezy. Mr. Nixie. And Batman. Mm. Number nine. Geoforce, Metron, Wonder Woman, Garden of the Galaxy. And some... Oh, is this Vulcan, maybe? He's got a V on his belt. Son of Vulcan? Did they control that character at this point? Not too sure. Well, there we have him. Right, and number 11. So there's a few more for me to pick up. It's a Doctor Fate-focused cover, this one. Marv Wolfman, Kerry Bates, Keith Giffen, Dave Hunt. Oh, Batman over in, hiding in the corner. Did you see Batman hiding in the corner down there? There he is. He's a hiding. Right, this was a comic book that someone was just uh, selling randomly on a on a Facebook page, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll have that." And I'm kind of like, wouldn't mind picking up the rest of them if I see them cheap. Uh, I don't think I paid too much for it, but they're they're, they're like expensive-ish, not super expensive. But it's a nice old King Comics. I, I, I never see many any King Comics around. Uh, so I, I may end up never never get any more of them. But if I see them, I will pick them up. It's an old Mandrake the Magician. I think this is from the 60s. I'm not too sure. I'll have to check on that. It was very kind of like old school archaic -y And it's kind of... In 1967. It kind of looks older than it is somehow to me. I look at that and it, to me it looks like it's golden age or something it looks like it's from a, a bit of a bygone kind of era but it's 1967 so it's not that old but uh yeah i wouldn't mind picking up the rest of those ones if i ever see them <laughs> so this is all stuff right this one here this one here this one here i was like no i should get rid of them i don't need them but i thought you know i find them cheap going cheap everywhere and i thought maybe i better get a full run one day and i thought you yeah, know it might even be a good read I don't know. So eventually eventually I'll, you know, providing I'm still breathing and walking and, you know, moving and not um, uh, rotting, then uh, I maybe one day will pick up the whole rest of this run. So it's uh, Arak, Son of Thunder. I'm pretty sure Fire was the Avenger is this, and he recommended uh, Conan to me and started me all, you know, picking up Conan. So I know our X is a completely different uh, kettle of fish, but I'm sure there's be some f f uh, similar -y kind of situations and stories. I think he's like a Native American, but he looks like he's he's like a Native American, but with time travel maybe, or or other strange... Inf is he on an alternate world? Does he jump, or he jump through dimensions? Is this one maybe just like Vikings maybe have come to America and they're longboats and somehow they've brought... Um, Dragons with him or sea serpents with him, but he definitely doesn't, doesn't look like a Viking, does he? He always looks, always to me, looked like a, a Native American kind of person. Uh, yeah, the devil takes a bride. Look at this next one. He's he's in hell. It's like what? What is going on with this comic book? Right, there we go. Jump to number four. A tree from some dark hell. Interesting, but it's never one I, I don't go out of my way to pick them up. But um, 
And then we go from number four, we've got a massive jump to number 46. I mean, it couldn't have been that bad to have, like, you know, got... I'm not sure when it, when it does actually run, uh, when, it, when the end run does end, but let's have, like, 50 issues. It must have something going for it. I've got number 47 and number 48. Uh, more Viking-looking support cast there. Looks like, so that's kind of like a hail back, hark back to the early issue I looked at. You've got a dragon serpent kind of thing. You've got a Viking looking duck guy. And then there's a backup story. Or I know it's a backup story, whether she's a, uh, an accomplice of his. Valder the Iron Maiden. Yeah, who doesn't like a bit of Iron Maiden? Iron Maiden's gonna get ya, no matter how far. And then this one's got whoop, Mulan. Step aside for Mulan, the she warrior. Is this Mulan from, from Disney? <laughs> Mulan, it looks like a, a, a Chinese warrior, maybe. Uh, yeah, and still you've got co-star in Valder, the Iron Maiden. There's a, an animal pounce in there. I might, I might use this for my uh, cover on Saturday. Doing, they've got another stream coming up on Saturday. Uh, Matilda's going to be the judge. She's going to be the iron-fisted judge who's going to decide who shows off the best covers. And it's going to be me, Roger, uh, Bill from Comic Mag's Musings, and Sean from Slim's Comics and more. We're going to be showing off five animal covers each. And uh, Matilda's going to run her iron fist over the rule book and decide who shows the best covers. <laughs> but you can come and join us in chat and, uh, you know, make your own uh, decisions on what you think, which covers are best. Right, and this is another one of these ones where it's a cheap... I always see these books going cheap, and it's like... And I had a few, and I was like, well, should I get rid of... Or should I... It's like, you, people don't want to buy them. They're not like in a, a popular series. So I think, well, why don't I just try and get the whole series at some point? No rush, because I'm not like... I'm not convinced it's going to be a very good read. But it's like, you know, you might as well get the run together and find out. I've got number one, after all. And it's uh, Orion, Lord of Atlantis. <laughs> yeah. So we've got number one of that. I'm not sure how many it run, runs for. And the next one I've got is number six. It's like a sorcerer, isn't he? Orion. At one point, he was retconned to be the grandfather of uh, Power Girl when they decided to make her from Atlantis rather than from Krypton. Um, yeah. All right, number 22. He's fighting a giant serpent kind of thing here in this one. And then lastly, number 26. They don't look too bad. The covers don't look too terrible. It might be a, it might be a, it might be a cool read. These are mid eighties. So one day, perhaps I shall complete an Orion run. Right, and the last one I'm going to show you because I happen to have broken into this run, and I know it, there's not too many of them. So let's show you the let's show you all of these, and we'll call that a video. Well, so that's a video. It's my Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter run that I'm trying to get. And that's annoying. Why have I done it like that? That's rather stupid of me. Oh, well, never mind. So, I haven't got number one. So, it's number two. You've got... Oh, if you've got to die, die fighting. Uh, they're the weapon masters, and they're going to make mincemeat of Richard Dragon, Kung Fu Fighter. Bit of a bondage cover there. Now, uh, this woman is tied up to a chair here here she's tied up to a chair and I'm assuming Richard Dragon is trying to rescue her and in the next one she's suspended from a ceiling <laughs> this woman doesn't get any better for her does it I got to keep an eye out for her on the rest of the covers does she spend her life in a perpetual state of bondage that's not that's not fun for a, a young woman by any means um Right, then the next one is a big jump. Number six is the next one I've got. Certain death. If the evil slash doesn't kill them, the volcano will. And this isn't in particularly good nick. But I think uh, Richard Dragon's got the first appearances of Bronze Tiger and of Lady Shiva. 
I need to get there at some point. But they're not cheap. I believe that's Lady Shiva down in the corner there. I think I might, I might have to bite the bullet and just spend some money I haven't got and buy that first Lady Shiva before it gets any cheaper. Uh, you take out the gang, Shiva. Cheaper? Did I just say completely arse over tit then? Did I just say I've got to buy it before it gets any cheaper? I think I did. My brain isn't functioning particularly well today. Let's start that sentence again. Oh, I must get the first Lady Shiva before it gets any more expensive. There you go. <laughs> let's cut out the first sentence. Forget I said that bit. And let's just go and pretend that the second sentence is what I started with. If that's okay with you guys. You take out the gang, Shiva. This one is mine. So to me, Lady Shiva in these early comics looks very much like... Um, uh, I think I said this before when I showed it off... Um, Cheshire. She looks very much like Cheshire to me. I'm sure Cheshire used to wear green. Uh, number nine. Richard Dragon, Kung Fu Fighter. Watch out, Dragon. This is the night the praying mantis kills. They seem to be fighting on, the, on a cannon. Why would you go choose to take your battle to a cannon over the side of a castle wall? <laughs> hmm. uh, the Human Inferno DC Comics salutes the Bicentennial So what, what year was your Bicentennial? Uh, number 11 You have meddled once too often, Dragon This time you die Special issue, martial arts, mart, what? martial arts might against the warrior clan. A kung fu killer battles his deadliest enemy, himself, Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter. I'm getting a feeling these early appearances of Lady Shiva, she wasn't quite as deadly as she was later portrayed I think she's there she's tied up there I think so what Lady Shiva got captured I suppose it's possible enter the lair of the viper and die bit of extension on his leg there he's got like a boomerang leg it's well bendy <laughs> legs don't bend that way Richard Dragon I suppose he's extremely supple from all his martial arts training. Uh, can they stop him? Can Richard Dragon and the Ninja Assassin halt the murderous blood rampage of the Axeman? Hmm. This Axeman appears to have an axe head tied to a rope that he swings around. That's an unusual weapon. I would assume it's pretty hard to be accurate with. But if it hits you, it would probably hurt. I can pretty much guarantee if that hit you, it would hurt. Uh, in the wastes of the north, the Kung Fu fighter faces the fury of the Doomseer. So it looks like he's fighting some guys who are trying to chop him up with ice skates. That's, that's not very cricket, is it? That's hardly cricket, trying to chop people up with ice skates. I've got a scar on my little finger from the one time that I went ice skating. I don't think it'll show up. So close. I can get it in close. If you can see the scar on my little finger. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, it was only a little. <laughs> I fell over on the ice. And, uh, yeah, my little finger didn't stop someone from <laughs> going straight over. I don't know what happened. That comes over only the little finger right there got hit, but not the other finger. I think you might have hit the finger maybe jumped over maybe maybe somehow it was going far and it hit the finger and somehow jumped over the other fingers <laughs> yeah I'm kind of glad that happened uh, but I have no idea how it happened how it only got like, a scar on my little finger and not the rest of them it's really weird <laughs> but I'm not going to complain uh, daggers at all sides can the power of the dragon save one hero from becoming the final victim uh, it looks like um Bronze Tiger and Lady Shiva stand beside him by the looks of it. 
Yeah, I need to pick up the first Bronze Tiger and the first Lady Shiva. Maybe some retail therapy. Maybe spend some money I don't really have to buy them. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Maybe maybe sense will uh will win out and I'll go, no, I'm not gonna do that. Don't be daft. Right, I shall be back tomorrow with um another one of my bloggy 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 blog blogs. But tonight, uh possibly in about half an hour, you can tune in to um Another one of my 31 Nights of Halloween, uh, where I take a short horror story from a comic book and make it into a video. In other, I, I should call I should call this this process. I should give it a name like Grayo Vision or something like that. Now in glorious grainy color. <laughs> yeah. So watch out in glorious grainy color. There will be a, a horror a horror haunt uh, tonight on my channel. Uh, maybe with some voice acting by someone we know from the community. No, it won't be, because the tonight's one is only the second one, isn't it? I know it's not on my... Uh, what's tonight one's called? Tonight one is only a short one. It's called Open Season. I think it was called Open Season anyway. It's only like a free pager, so it's quite a short one. Uh, and I'm commissioning people. I'm not paying them, of course, because I ain't got the money. But, you know, if people want to join in by doing some voice acting for me uh what you can do if you choose your favorite short uh horror story let me know which one it is i'll look it up put the video together you could do the voice acting for one of the parts i'll get people to do the other parts or do it myself and i'll put it together so if you're interested in taking part in this little project this little haunt project then uh, get in touch on here or instagram or something Anyway, I'm out of here. Until tomorrow, have a great, amazing day. And may all your news be good news.